Wir von Gold Rugby, normale Runde, haben heute zwei Gäste, Lofty Stevenson und Mustafa Bingo. Ähm, und wir wollen uns einfach mit den beiden ein bisschen über die Aussichten von deutschen Rugby, die Zukunft und einfach ihre Vorstellung vom Rugby momentan unterhalten. So, Lofty nice to have you here. Musti, freue mich, dass du da bist. Um, um, maybe you can start with some, something you want to tell the German people. Well, maybe about your function uh, in this season after retiring from the seventh national team in Frankfurt. You try and learn. Sure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, I think I yeah, think in, in German rugby now that uh, moving as it moves forward, it's important that we have people uh, that can have a wider a view, a wider opinion, and you can't do that if you're focusing on one. One every one club. So I, I, I felt it was important that I moved away from uh, the 1880. Uh, I wanted to create a, an environment where we had a, a professional sevens environment in Germany, and, and we needed a million euros to do that after I finished the planning. Uh, I talked to a couple of people about that. It was a short window and it wasn't possible to do it, so then I looked at the second option and uh, I wanted to put sort of a couple of major sponsors that we already have together with the DRV and create a, another position that could help. At the moment, we only have 2.5 full time employees in the gym and rugby union. 7 out of 15? Across the board. All right. Yeah. So, so you know, there's Volker and, and uh, Natasha in the office and Peter Ivanisovic. Between those people, they, must, they are paid employees and they must be working. Everybody else is. Volunteering or in some capacity, and working very, very hard, and it's almost impossible to, to do the work. Um, and so they do the best that they can. I, I know in New Zealand, when I started uh, maybe eight years ago now, it was 26 people working for the New Zealand Rugby Union. And when I finished six years later, so two years ago, there was 114. So it improved over that, over that period as professionalism got a hold. Um, everybody needed an assistant. We have two or three people just working on IT in the head office. Just it's all really good. So many computers now, so many programs, and so many aspects of uh, we have just IT. So there, the, the other thing is, is um, I feel that I had the skills and, and the possibility to do something. Mm -hmm. After I went around the country to see if you could put this big concept together, um, I realized that I didn't need a big concept. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, I could do it by myself. There was enough clubs with enough interest uh, and a little bit of money each that uh, they could employ somebody like me to, to give them the assistance so that they, they, they could use. So you want to be a consultant for, for the league and federation as well, or more for the league? No, I mean, for, well, clubs. for anybody, anybody at all. Some clubs need, need assistance with playing. Uh, some need some for assistance with how to work their managers. Mm -hmm. Others need technical advice. So that's how, uh, for argument's sake, I've been working in Munich. And I did a scrum session or two down there. Um, I've done some kicking, I've done some line out throwing, some technical skills for them, um, a little bit of team pattern. Um, and then I, I've been working in one one off and I'm doing a whole range of things up there. Okay. So it, it, it changes. I've been mean, working in Boisestown uh, and for there, there's so many young guys, it's very exciting to work with them. Uh, they've just been thrown in the DB this year in the Bundesliga. The six senior players are up there that were there last year. So they have to sink or they have to swim. And gradually the heads are coming up, they're just they're getting a feel for it. And, and now there's a couple of older guys coming back from injury and coming back from where they've been previously. So that would be a big help for those to, to help them grow and, and for Jeremy to grow in that little club. So, Every every club is different. Some just need a little bit of advice on the rules. Some need advice on how to work with the computer and the, and the analysis. Yeah. It's, it's all different ones. Okay, but uh, in general, you can say that uh, German rugby is willing to take your advices. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. My phone and my email will tell you that for sure they're happy to take my advice. Okay. 